pay attention. You're looking for capital. Highgate Woods School in North London. Right, I'm off my lesson. Music teacher Teddy Prout has a long day ahead. Seven hours of non-stop teaching, choir practice and a parents' meeting. Bags off, coats off. Bags off, coats off. Teddy qualified two years ago and finds these long days particularly stressful. <laughs> go sit down, take your bags off, coats off. I can't go and sit down. My right, Brooke, come here, please. He's asked John Bailey to spend the day with him, to suggest ways to make things run more smoothly. We've got four different ideas represented here. First up, this composition with 7L. How you choose to make that into music is up to you. You need to be in groups of five, no more, one group in each room, you can use any of the things. Keyboards are over there, don't use the ones on there. Off you go. Right. OK, are you going to do it as four pieces of music or are you going to do it as one piece of music? One piece of music, all right? Andrew, can you start acting your age, please? OK, well then don't do that, OK? OK, I'll be back in about five minutes or so just to hear what you've got and then suggest some ideas. Dynamics? All three. Good man, Greg. Right, guys, why are you out here and not in your room? Yeah, so I said you're going to have to use metallophones and xylophones for this lesson. What you're not doing is you're not talking about how this is going to work. You've only got about seven or eight minutes left to sort out what you're going to do for this piece. One of the things that I noticed, is, and I'm sure you've noticed it too, is they go and goof around a bit. Uh, and then you go and give them a 20 second warning. And then the sense of occasion suddenly clicks back in. OK. That's an interesting interpretation of what I asked you to do. When they are practising in the practice rooms, what would you like to see happening? What should they be doing? Explain it to me. I'm 14. What do you want me to do, sir? I need you to experiment with the sounds that I've told you you can use. I then need you to... I'll do it on my own, sir. Or do I to go and muck around with everybody else? What's going to happen? <laughs> um, what do you mean? You need to... Work out a tune for yourself on your own instrument. Oh, right. OK, what sort of language do you want to hear, sir? Can we scream at each other over the <laughs> instrument, sir? No. Soft tones, communicating sensibly. You should be listening to each other's opinions as well. And what sort of opinions might they be? This works, this doesn't work. I like this, I don't like this. OK, I think I understand that now. Do you see what I'm pushing you to do? Yeah. When I come into these rooms, I want to see people sitting down with their instruments, I want to see you practising a tune, first of all. I want to see people making helpful comments to each other. And then when you're going into the rooms, you're reinforcing that behaviour. Next, a listening exercise with 7U. OK, here we go. This is the piece of music we're going to listen to and try and analyse. Just divide half a page or so up into a box. Divide that into four and then put flute, clarinet, violin and cello. OK? We're going to listen to the piece again and I want you to be listening specifically to one of those boxes. All right, so if each one of you picks one instrument, Savannah, each one of you picks one instrument, See how you can describe it. They're listening to music, um, they're recognising uh, different instruments and they're thinking about it. 
I've got a but though, because uh, this little but is going gonna, is gonna to continue through our narrative. When you introduce those four boxes, um, if, I'm, if I'm watching you, or more, more importantly, if I'm half watching you, I know I've got these four boxes, and I think you want me to write some things in them, but I'm not quite sure what they are. Okay, if you think about having dinner, instead of just saying, well, I had a roast, we're trying to say, well, I had chicken, and I had potatoes, and I had Yorkshire pudding, and I had, I don't know, parsley. Now what we need to do is we need to describe each one of those. Okay, so the roast potatoes were a kind of a, a, a yellow and very crispy. The sweet corn was um, yellow. So that's what we're doing in music. We're trying to say the flute is doing whatever the flute is doing. So I should have done that. Well, we'll play it to you once more. At the beginning. Yeah, bingo. I think we're going to find lots of examples of this. That, that you're relaxed, you're confident, you've got them engaged. The high achievers are getting what you want at once, and then you're going around sweeping up low achievers by explaining to them what to do. And did you notice that you put the music on, and then there were some, there's mainly little boys we're talking about today, there were kids just sitting staring at you. Then you walked over and said, now you need to be writing down. So one of the things you could say is we're going to be putting down some of these categories in these boxes. Look at the example I've worked up there. In a minute, I'm going to turn the music on and I'm going to be looking for people. What am I going to see? I'm going to see people looking at the board. Then I'm going to see them writing in the boxes. That's what I'm going to see. All right. um, so I'm, I'm asking you to... Explicit is the word that I'm asking you for. Bye-bye. 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 Bye. 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 Over lunch, it's choir practice. Two, three, four. There, stop. What was that? Come on, all together, all the same time. Shush, 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 shush. OK, listen, listen, listen. Right, tenors and basses, what you get is the altos what you get is the altos and the sopranos singing. Okay, you need to, you, girls, pack it in. You know this thing about being explicit with your teaching directions? I think sometimes you're not completely explicit with your behavior directions. Not just saying what I expect to see during this period is people facing me. I expect to see you listening, um, I expect to see how your sheet's out, uh, and I don't expect to see mobile phones out, even though I know this is a quiet practice. Do we all understand each other? And giving that direction when the going is good, rather than letting it bubble and then kicking in. I hope if you sit over on that table, a couple of you sit over on that table. Final period, 8U. OK, you're right. And the day's beginning to take its toll. OK, Carlton, can you take off your bag, please? OK, this isn't quiet. I'm going to count down from five to zero again. If by the time I get to zero you're not quiet, I'm going to have to keep you back after school. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. OK, clearly you didn't hear me. Adam and Gustavo, you two, you can come see me tomorrow at lunchtime. You can come see me after school. You were doing what we do a lot of the time, which is, yeah, that's not quiet. Uh, I'll try it one more time. Bang, there's a detention. Bang, there's a detention. And, and they get their gloves up. That was an inappropriate comment. Can you keep it to yourself? No. If you want to play around, I can send you out. Play around. It's a very good plan. Right. One of the things I ended up thinking was um, I've got to be really careful. I don't sit and preach behaviour management to this man uh, because one of the things about period five, um, 
on a day when you've uh, already done a lot and given up a lunchtime and arrived early and you know there's a parents' evening coming up, is you're not so inclined uh, to be patient uh, with the children as you are earlier on. Um, there will be days when the smartest thing to say is, listen, would you go next door to Mr. Walker's room, please? Um, that'll help you settle down. It'll stop me from killing you. <laughs> <laughs> you. You go in with them. It's fine. I'll find you a beast. Go back to your group. Well, you're just going to have to use the end point for the moment because you don't know what you're doing. You're not making any... I think that a lot of these stress points, um, we can knock that down by two-thirds by being more explicit um, about what it is that we want. And that um, extends to the behaviour management and it extends to the, um, to the teaching and learning. And what we're trying to do is, um, is make you a bit more explicit with some of the more distractible children yes. so, that, so that we can get rid of these rough patches. <laughs> A few days later, Teddy's rehearsing cabaret with Year 10, who can be rowdy. He's trying to put some of John's advice into practice. We're going to do Tomorrow Belongs to Me. Come, Becky, you come a bit closer. Shut up! OK, my expectation now is that you are not going to talk when I am talking. How are you going to get your note? Huh? If I'm playing... Singing, the, you're absolutely right, Faye. That's exactly what you're doing. You're singing the first line again. It's a different melody, isn't it? That's why I get confused. You do know that because you've sung it over and over and over, and you you sung it without me, so you do remember that melody. You just got to remember to sing it. One, two, three. One, two. OK, right, too late. Right. You failed to meet my expectations so far to be silent. If you do that again, I'm going to send you out and you're not going to take part in this lesson. How does the heart? Do you understand heart. me? Yeah. Just, right, you've got to think on the second time around, you're going down, OK? With the chords. One, two, three, one, two. I think we've cracked that one. So people Woo! need to stop saying the heart really, really loud. The heart! The heart! Like the heart! Get in Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Hi, job. Are you feeling better? Is something yes. Ha is yeah, something I'm, happening? Yeah, I'm, well, what I'm is, feeling. What is happening in there? <laughs> well, I, I think, um, firstly, I'm being more explicit about what I want in terms of behaviour. I'm expecting you to be quiet at this point and listen to me. And, and I'm getting it. You know, they're going, oh, OK, we've, we need to listen. And, and they're, they're listening. And okay, I'm still getting one or two people who are talking at the back, but I'm, it's much easier to deal with that. It's much easier to cope with that than half the class who are not listening. I'm going, I'm waiting, I'm doing this, I'm doing... Just, it seems to be much easier. 